How you guys doing? Once again, I'm Chris Ignato, and thanks for stopping by my channel. Now, this is a video I filmed a couple years ago of a blinded sphinx moth, and you'll find out why it's called the blinded sphinx. Check it out. Hope you enjoy the video. That is just way too cool. Look at that awesome camouflage, too. He's pretty big. In fact, let me show you how big he is. Oh. That is so cool. This is some sort of sphinx moth. It's, it can't be a Pandora sphinx, but it's definitely a sphinx of some sort. Pretty cool. And then if you look over here, you see those bright colors. Nice bright yellow on the abdomen. What a really cool moth. Found this on the window last night. This is a, a blinded sphinx moth. And it's been around for a few days. You can see the back of its wings are a little torn up. So it's been out for a little while. Moths and butterflies, once they get their wings, most of them don't last that long. Often just a few days to a couple of weeks. But some last a long time. There's actually some that actually overwinter in the adult form. But I don't think this guy does. <laughs> Really cool, huh? What's neat about them is when they cocoon, or when they metamorphosize, they don't form cocoons. They just dig deep down into the soil. There's a caterpillar, which is green, I think. But they dig down into the soil, climb down into there, or burrow into it, and then they'll just find a spot and metamorphosize down there, and then climb out as a moth. So that's pretty neat. Um, moths make cocoons and butterflies make chrysalis, make chrysalids. So, when you see a butterfly cocoon, it's actually called a chrysalis. Okay guys, check out the underwings of this guy. You ready? Beautiful, isn't that? Isn't that really cool? That's the blinded sphinx, actually. Pretty cool, huh? Well, the reason why it's called the blinded sphinx, as you know, is the first pair of wings covers the eye spots on the second pair of wings. Hence the term blinded sphinx. Pretty much blindfolded, right? Uh, but it flashes those eye spots when it retreats and it startles the predators. You know, they think it's a giant owl or something staring at them. Really cool stuff. Anyways, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Once again, I'm Chris Ignato, signing out. Hey, guys. Now, really quick, if you like my videos, please hit the subscribe button, but don't forget to click that little bell icon or else YouTube will never inform you that I have a new video out. It's a YouTube thing. And trust me, I need all the help I can get, so please click that bell icon for future notifications. And thanks a lot for watching, guys. I'm Chris Ignato, signing out.